Good afternoon, everybody. Today, I would like to present, or oh, sorry, I would like to share with you my research work titled Fault Detection and Isolation for Fuel Cell Systems. Uh, my name is Mahanija. Hey. Okay, sorry. My name is Mahanija Makamal, and I'm from Control Research uh, uh, Group. Uh, before that, this is my uh, outline of today's presentation. The first one will be the objective of my research, followed by a bit of introduction on fuel cell system. The third one will be radial basis function neural network, followed by what is fault detection and isolation. And then we go to the simulation results and finally the conclusions. So the objective of the first, uh, sorry, firstly is to propose a new intelligent FTI approach for PEM uh, FC dynamic system. Secondly, to develop FDI using independent RBF model under Opelux system. And then we want to investigate the performance of this model with healthy and faulty data set. And finally, to investigate the performance uh, under closed loop system. So a bit on the introduction, what is fuel cell system? As you know, fuel cell system is a renewable energy based on hydrogen technology. Among them, proton exchange membrane fuel cell or PEMMC is the most popular due to its zero pollution and the waste is water. The advantages of PEMMC include low temperature operation, high efficiency, long lifetime and fast start up. So this is the... Um, operation of the fuel cell okay activated by catalyze the hydrogen atom separate into electron and proton okay the electron go through the external circuit creating a flow of electricity while the proton go through the electrolyte to the cathode site and reunite with oxygen to create water and uh, to create water and heat a fuel cell uh, is a chemical device uh, uh, which convert into electrical energy. It consists of two electrodes, anode and cathode. So this is the block diagram of PEM FC dynamic system. One of the most accurate and complete model was developed by University of Michigan. So this simulator model has been used as a case study to introduce five types of faults. This uh, system is supported by four subsystems. The, system, uh, the subsystems are hydrogen uh, supply, air supply, humidification system, and finally the cooling system. Okay, to make the uh, the meta intelligent, we use the RBF neural networks to overcome the non-linear uh, behavior of the system itself. Uh, RBF neural network consists of three layers. The first one is the input layer, hidden layer, and the output layer. In this case, we use two inputs. The inputs are stack, stack current and compressor voltage, while we collect three outputs. The outputs are net power, oxygen excess ratio and uh, stack voltage. The most common uh, activation function used in the RBF network is the Gaussian function given by this equation. Okay, this is the overall block diagram of independent RBF no network using in this work. Firstly, we collect a random uh, signal as the input there and then we collect the three outputs. Before we can train uh, or test the network, we need to do the data scaling. The data scaling is given by this equation where we have the current value minus with the minimum value, divide by the maximum value and the minimum value there. And how we stop the training? The training is based on the mean square error given by this equation. So finally, we go to the fault detection and isolation. Early fault detection and isolation can minimize downtime, increase safety, the increase the safety of plant operation, preventing damage to the equipment, and also reduce the cost. Uh, what is fault detection? Fault detection identifies that a problem or fault has occurred in the system, and this in this case we are using the residual error calculation by given by this equation. And for fault isolation. Uh, actually, we'll pinpoint the exact cause and the location of the fault. 
and this is the plot diagram of the RBF classifier used as used to do the fault isolation. So fault simulation. So from the previous uh, diagram, we modified this uh, simulator model by introduce five types of fault. The first one is the actuator fault we happen in the compressor. The second one is the comp uh, component fault. Normally, uh, in this case, it's like leakage in the manifold. And the third uh, fault is the sensor faults here. Because we have three outputs, so we based on the sensor faults there, so we have three sensor faults. So this diagram uh, shows you the overall of FDI process. Uh, as you can see here, this is the plan, this is the model, and then <coughs> sorry. Okay, and it consists of two parts, residual uh, generator to calculate the residual and the RBF classifier to isolate the fault individually. So the next one will be on the simulation results. Okay, uh, as you can see here, this is the input signal. So this is the fault that we introduce to the system and the network will uh, compare between the actual output and the network, up, uh, network output and as you can see here this is from the faulty uh, plan and the blue one is the RBF sorry <laughs> the setting time okay so the first part is the fault detection how we do it so first uh, we need to uh, from the actual and the model output we get the error because as you can see here, there's a lot of noise or distortion in the signal, so we, we want to make it clear or clean. So we filter it and then we square it based on the equation there. And from here, as you can hear, as you can see here from the negative, when we square it, it becomes all positive edge. And then using this calculation, okay, Therefore, you can see here all five faults which occurred in the system can be uh, can be seen clearly. So then the second part is the fault isolation. Again, the same concept as before, we use the modeling error and then we need to filter the signal. Again, using the uh, signal, we square the, the error signal and then use the RBF classifier to classify based on each individual fault and this is the result that we got okay and as a conclusion in this work a new intelligent FTI for PEM FC dynamic system has been developed using the independent RBF network model the results show that the proposed method able to detect and isolate all five faults correctly with negative 7% to positive 10% fault size. This work developed a fast, reliable method with high accuracy and sensitivity for FTI. With that, I end my presentation. Thank you. Thank you.